All right, getting closer. So now I've revised this slightly with some CSS because, you know, I didn't want to look at something ugly forever. Um, but that said, you know, here's what I did. So um, if you're interested, you can pull this off from, you know, the GitHub that I put together and it's under source. And essentially I went to app CSS and I added some uh, new styles here. Rather than type all this out and make the videos really, really long, I just, you know, decided, okay, let's speed this up a little bit and just give you the CSS you can work with. Feel free to just play around though, you know, on your own when you want to go and build this yourself and make the CSS whatever you like. You can use what I did or you can borrow from it or you can build on top of it, whatever you like, or you can just continue the way that we were doing it, you know, during the video. But that said, um, not a lot of drastic changes here. Essentially what I've done is I've said, okay, I want to make a search form class. And then, you know, I gave it some uh, border, which you can see here. And that's the four pixels uh, dark border that you see here. I made the search form completely full, so with 100%. And then, um, you know, I have also some other classes here for no movies, which if there are no movies, what to do to display, and we'll get to that point. Um, and that'll be something that is dynamic with the React app. I have a movies class, which is for the entire um, movies app. And then this is, I think, uh, the table movies. So actually this is the movies class for the table. And then these are the individual uh, columns and rows. So just a little bit of styling. Again, not too drastic. And then what I've done on the um, different uh, JS files that we created here, I changed movie listings to be more like what we talked about as that third step in the previous video. I made it a um, function that is equal to a variable. And then I exported that over here at the end because I feel like that's a good best practice. We know exactly what we are creating here. This is the name of the component, and this is what we want to export as opposed to a default function that's anonymous. And then our table also has that class name movies now. So I've injected the CSS class here for movies. It's a still essentially the same app, so don't feel like, oh my God, you just changed the app now. I don't know what to do. Um, it's the same thing that we've been building all along, and we're going to keep building it the same way. Um, again, just the CSS part might take more time than we need. So I decided to just inject it in here. Um, same thing for the search form. I wrapped it in a div this time and I gave it a class name of search form. And so that's where our input search is. And that's why it got longer here over this on this side. And then um, you might have noticed that I forgot to actually create a movie listing itself, right? So let's do that right now. So um, I am actually going to go over to our movie listing file and I'm just going to import React from React. And I am going to also make sure that I have that const variable and we'll call it movie listing. And then I'm going to make that equal to a anonymous function in ES6 and then return back our table row. And that I can just grab from here. And then so what we're going to want to do is after we create the movie listing, we're going to want to bring it into the movie listings. So export default movie listing. And let's just keep this clean here, save. And then we want to have export or actually import. And then we want to say movie listing from movie listing right here. So then what we want to do for now, at least, is just bring in the movie listing. We're going to edit this file a lot more, but we just want to make sure everything works. Okay, good to go. Let's just give it a, you know, um, a little routine check here. So just take this out and see if that still works. Good. So now we've got all of our component files all handled and all working pretty well. So good to go here. We got the CSS, we got the HTML. Now we're ready for the next step, which is basically to just dive in and really kind of work the app. So I'll see you in the next video.